Hey guys, it's Shelby. Today I am vlogging for you. Well, actually this vlog started a couple days ago when we went to the farmer's market because as you guys know, we recently moved and I wanted to share with you the process of kind of finding your farmer's market, going there, discovering new things and just taking you along. And then this happened. Yeah, so basically after a couple hours out in the heat here in Texas right now, Madison passes out. She's had like the, that expiration as long as I've been dating her. She's in denial about it though. Anyway, it didn't make for a very interesting vlog that day, so I figured I would take you along with me this week, which I'm doing even cooler things this week, so I think you'll be fine with that. As a matter of fact, it's about 5.30 in the morning right now, and we are about to head to the airport to go to LA. I made it to the airport on time, but I will tell you that I completely forgot to take my vitamins while I was at home because I was in such a rush, so I wanted to go ahead and take them for you guys here at the airport and tell you about them a little bit because this video is brought to you by Care Of, and I'm showing you this because it's actually really cool. I've anti-hauled single-use like packets of vitamins in the past, but that's because those packets were made of plastic, and they're not recyclable, they're not compostable, of course, but now Care Of has taken the initiative to make their packets compostable, so I think it's probably the most sustainable way you can get vitamins because even when you get them in a glass bottle like obviously you have to recycle that glass and then there's usually plastic within the lid and when I unpacked the care of box I was actually really impressed because I saw no plastic and then these guys are compostable. So Care-of is a really cool service where you take a really quick five minute survey and you tell them what your concerns are. Basically if you have health concerns or if you have like problems with energy, it's actually one of the things I'm really excited about taking these vitamins. I've been taking them for a couple weeks and I told Care-of my main concern during my survey was like my energy levels and burnout. I seem to experience that a lot. So I'm really excited to take these vitamins and hope that they help with my energy levels. I'm so stoked about that. Also, you guys, if you are interested in trying out Care-of, you can get 25% off of your order of personalized vitamins, like literally has my name on it. How cute is that? And it's compostable. So I'm super stoked about it. If you guys want to pick up a packet, if you guys want to pick up a packet of your own vitamins, click the link in the description, use the discount code to get a discount, get any sort of vitamins you want. So I'm going to take these really quick and then I got to go get on the plane uh, before it leaves me. <laughs> Ali and I are just exploring Laguna Beach today. First stop, Thousand, no, Treasure. Well, I think we walked down the Thousand Steps, maybe. Oh, okay. And now we're going to Treasure Island Beach. Okay. Treasure Island. Look at the pelicans. I love them so much. So, so cute. I know vlogs like this are not that informative, but I also think it's important to remember why we live an eco-friendly lifestyle, which is to maintain our natural ecosystem slash environment. So, out here enjoying it today and thought I would bring you guys along. What'd you get, Ali? So I got a green spoon. It's not very green, but I'm happy about that. <laughs> green is. It's so good. Also, I have a bad habit of ordering too much food, but we'll see if I can at least eat half of this one. What is it called? They get a shout out. Active culture. Really good plant-based food, reusables, and compost. Can't beat Yay. it. <laughs> now, I think we are headed to throw a pot, which is the pottery term for making a pot. And we looked it up online, there wasn't that much information, but there was none. with any luck, we're about to throw a pot. A few moments later. <laughs> Are 
you're gonna do. Oh, this sounds difficult. Your left hand, it, it is you kind of tricky. You're gonna make a wall. Oh, really? Your left hand. Whatever. Sorry, I spot on you. Okay. I probably missed it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. 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 I feel like the number one struggle of being plant-based is finding a place that has plant-based stuff. And then the next struggle is when you find a plant-based place, you can't decide what the hell you want. <laughs> Allie's face! What's wrong, Allie? I'm outside hiding. <laughs> I didn't know you were vlogging. I was just gonna put on Instagram. I love plant power so much. If you ask really nicely, they'll let you put it in your own container. And then poor Shelby's over here with all the Bioplastic. What is go? Oh, is it compostable plastic? I mean, is anything really compostable plastic? You know, is it? No one knows, but this, okay. So what happened is I think that girl that made the milkshake was over listening to me talk mm -hmm. to the checkout lady. So she put a pina colada one in the reusable cup and then made a strawberry one in here. But then they poured out the other one yeah. and let you take it. Yeah. I was like, wait, 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 wait. So she <laughs> took it away before I could say anything. I was like, what is happening? Shelby, world's worst vlogger, coming at you again. The forum was interesting. Um, it wasn't what I was exactly expecting it to be, but I did get to meet some cool people, get to network, have some cool conversations. Um, but on the website, it said the forum was going to end at three, so I made engagements for four, and it turns out the forum doesn't end until five. So I had to leave. I had to leave at three to make it to my engagement at four, um, but there was an hour between two and three where there was nothing happening. So I just left at three or at two and checked into my Airbnb. Wow, I just got so dark. It's in Santa Monica because one of my favorite brands is here in Santa Monica and I'm actually gonna go get a facial by them. So I'm really stoked about that. I'm gonna be leaving here just shortly. I'm gonna change my outfit. Um, and then I'm gonna be going over to Osea to get one of their skincare facials. Well, obviously a facial official is skincare. But I'm very stoked to meet some members of their team to get to see like behind the scenes of how they run their studio and what they're all about because I've been purchasing from them for a while. Like I just placed another order right before I left to come here. And I think what they stand for in their brand is really, really cool. So uh, they're definitely not sponsoring this video. I just wanted to tell you about that. And then let me set up my camera so you can see my full outfit. All right, so who remembers the video where I picked up this outfit? I was going through outfits trying to pick one for a Western wedding. You guys are crooked. There we go. And I said that I feel like I could wear this to the conference I had coming up in August. This is the conference, or I just left the conference. And this is what I wore. So I was wearing the shirt. Remember we got this shirt? I got these black jeans. I ended up not going with the lame bright shoes that I got in that haul. And I went with these black boots. Black boots that I got secondhand as well just because I wanna wear the black boots while we're in Portland um, on this trip as well. And if I would've brought those light brown Lane Bryant boots that I really do love, I would've had to have brought these um, black boots, my white tennis shoes, my Birkenstocks, my hiking boots, and those boots. So I figured I'd just wear the black ones to the forum. As cute as they were, they will get put to good use, just not on this trip. And then I actually had a pink blazer on, which I was gonna put back on for the purposes of showing you what I wore, but I left it in my car. I always like to, when I have to stay in Airbnbs where I don't like park where I'm staying, 
I like to figure out what I'm saying and then go back and get my suitcase so that I don't look like a lost person walking around the streets with a suitcase. I feel like that makes you a target. <laughs> so yes, I'm just gonna get changed and then we're gonna go over to Osea. It's literally walking distance from there, here. So I'm just gonna walk and I'm so, so excited. Hope you guys are excited too, so let's get going. All right, so if you can see, we are here. We just need to get right there. And it's only 15 minutes. This is what I love about being downtown, like in a city. Because not only is driving like bad for the environment, you know, air pollution and all that good stuff, climate change, not good stuff, but all that stuff. Am I really dark? Can you see me? Okay. I don't know, I guess I have to hold it here, but I was saying, I really prefer not having to drive places. If I could live somewhere, if I could afford to live somewhere where I could walk everywhere, that'd be awesome. Cause then obviously the emissions, but also um, it's stressful. Driving is just stressful. Just getting, knowing that you're walking to where you need to go. Don't have to worry about getting hit by a car. Don't have to worry about hitting a car. Don't have to worry about parking. It's just so much nicer. So I need to see stuff like this. <laughs> Santa Monica, you're cute. And just when I thought my fig tree in my house was cool, look at this. Look how big it is compared to my hand. Mine are like a quarter of that size, I feel like. Look at him down there. How flippin' cool. Just here on the sidewalk. over there that we're gonna get to test out put on this robe and just have a peaceful little time i'm literally so excited okay let me get ready this is cozy <laughs> i came a whole week i feel like it feels like i'm like tucked in for bed um you are a bit also dehydrated a bit on the surface okay um, internally it seems like you're fairly hydrated so that's good keep up that water drinking <laughs> extract you Nice exfoliating treatment, get you hydrated. Okay, awesome. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, you are looking at my new skin. How does it look? It looks a little worn because you know, right after you do a facial, there's like abrasive and like all these different like mixtures of stuff, but it felt so good. They used one of their um, oils on me, which I have at home, but I never think to use it, but it's like a an essential oil roller ball and it's so bomb I have it at home and it's just like so tingly it makes you feel so good so I'm gonna start using that more often if you guys want to check out Osea I have a whole review video on them and then I'll have some of my favorite things from them linked below if I remember to do it but yeah this was really really nice I'm a new woman I think the move is going to the beach just to take a look and then like I said I just want to go home and chill I have to edit this video because today is Thursday and this is going up on Sunday um, which that means I have a couple more days. I don't know if I should vlog. I'm going to meet Katherine Kellogg from Going Zero Waste tomorrow. So excited about that. Um, and then I'm gonna, I might make a whole nother vlog about my experience riding buses and trains all the way up to Vancouver. So let me know if you guys wanna see that and then I can continue my vlogging experience. Thank you for watching. I love you. I don't know. This is just a message to be so grateful for, you know, experiences you get to have in life and I'm, I don't know. I'm just feeling very grateful today for the opportunities I have and the audience I have and like the fact that I get to like influence around the thing I love the most. Sustainability. I just feel very lucky. Very grateful. So thank you to all of you who watch this. It, it means the world to me. I could never explain it to you, but all right. I'll see you when we get to the beach.